Matchmaker, matchmaker, do not make me a match. At least that's what Reese is telling her bestie, Sheree. But she's not listening. Reese is angry with Sheree because she keeps setting her up with random guys. She says she gets hit on every day and doesn't need help finding a date. She wants Sheree to be her friend, not her matchmaker. Sheree says she's just looking out for her friend. She says if Reese didn't date losers, then she wouldn't have to set her up. She argues the men she finds are good looking and will treat Reese right. Does Sheree need to stop playing Cupid? Or is Reese's matchmaking protest just stupid? Reese, your girl is looking out for you. Why are you so against Sheree matchmaking efforts? Because it's freaking annoying and I'm <laughs> sick of it. <laughs> Why is it so annoying? Well, I just recently went through a divorce over a year ago. Okay. So I agreed to move to another state and become roommates with her. Okay. And I feel like ever since then, she's been on this matchmaking journey. To give you an example, um, I came home, I was getting off work. I came home and um, I found a man on my couch. I'm on my phone, walking and I look up on the couch. He's like, hey, I said, um, who are you? <laughs> He was like, um, my name is such and such. I was like, what are you doing here? He said, your friend hooked me up with you. Oh. Hold on, was, was he home alone waiting for you? Yes, he was at home oh, alone. Lord. She stepped out and she went to the store. And he was there. To give you all so, some privacy. That's just the beginning. <laughs> oh, there's more. Yes, absolutely. Um, we went on another, uh, she went on a date. She said, just come along with us. It's a comedy show. I said, okay, cool. I go on a comedy show and whatever. So I said, do not hook me up with anyone. I'm gonna be hooked up, this will be the third wheel. I go my way, you go your way. I get there and he's like, uh, yeah, your friend, she said, you're single. I said, oh, really? She said, I'm single? The guy's breath was ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> He had the most dragon breath going yes. on. You know so that kind of dragon talking, breath like fries back like your lashes? You're like, oh Lord. Listen, when he was talking, I just started going like this, like, oh my mm, gosh. That's your word. I cannot take any more. But you're leaving out that he was successful. He was handsome. He was tall. Were you attracted to him though? No, no absolutely you not. You were just done. And not attracted to him and he had that breath. Wow. Absolutely not. And not just that, I get random phone calls. Oh, by the way, I got a text message from a random guy today. Sheree, why do you keep setting her up? Because she's, she's constantly coming to me saying, I just want a relationship, I want love, I want this, I want that. And then she's coming to me with it. So I'm like, okay, let me help you out. Also, she picks losers. She picks the wrong guys all the time. Why do you say that? Hold on, why do you say that? What have you seen in the past? She bases everything on looks. So mm. she wants somebody tall, mm. chocolate, mm. like they have to be this, they have to meet all these, mm. these standards. Mm. Six pack and a smile. Right? Yeah, yes. I know. <laughs> <laughs>